the 13-year-old who saved his family home from fire in their luxury mansion. A major quake rocks Mexico and Southern California. Sharks force the cancellation of the Tamarama Ocean Swim. Tiger Woods makes an early appearance at Augusta. And fashion for everyone at the Royal Easter Show. This is Nine News with Peter Overton. Good evening. A 13-year-old boy has helped to save his mother and three siblings from a fire at their luxury home in Dural. The flames ripped through the $4 million mansion, but Alex Kay managed to get everyone out alive. A multi-million dollar dream home reduced to rubble. It's pretty much totaled. It began with an explosion, then a fireball. Oh, it's really got the whole house. Inside the mansion, Lisa Kay and her four children. It was the quick thinking of her 13-year-old son, Alex, that saved all their lives. Mexico and Southern California have suffered a massive earthquake scare, but somehow the region has dodged disaster. One person died in a building collapse in Mexico, but this 7.2 quake did not realise its full destructive potential. The showground is their catwalk. Brian's busy designing a Chanel range for next year. Amelia Adams, Nine News. Catwalk, duckwalk. In the news ahead, why the fast food outlet may be an endangered species. And proof that being blonde really is best. Welfare cheats, be warned, someone may be watching you. Centrelink is beefing up its covert surveillance to stop fakers ripping off the system. As he bends to wind up the family caravan, there's no sign of this man's claimed muscular or skeletal problems. After a week underground, 114 trapped mine workers have been pulled to safety from a flooded coal shaft in northern China. Rescuers are positive they can save the remaining 39 for to be still alive but stuck underground. A camera has captured the moment a stunt plane slammed into a field in southern Brazil, exploding on impact. The pilot died in the crash. It's believed he'd been performing aerobatics when he lost control. A father has dived into New York's East River to save his two-year-old daughter. The adventurous little one somehow got through the railings on an historic ship moored near a museum. Fortunately, her father was on hand to save her. And the Pope is under fire for his decision not to address the Catholic Church's history of sexual abuse in his Easter Sunday message at St Peter's Basilica. Tens of thousands of pilgrims gathered to hear the pontiff, who urged them not to be impressed by idle chatter of the moment. Several senior cardinals chose to mention the scandal in their addresses across Europe and the US. Ken's next with Sport and another NRL thriller, this time between the Knights and the Panthers. Yes, Peter, it was a beauty. The Panthers win in a remarkable turnaround. Locked at 30 all, they scored in the last minute of play to win the match. Mark Webber finishes second fiddle to his F1 teammate. And the store gives famous dash for cash. Under siege, Parramatta captain Nathan Kalis will retain the leadership, for this week at least, despite calls for him to be replaced. Meanwhile in Newcastle, another amazing comeback today. The Panthers, like West Tigers yesterday, hauled in a huge half-time deficit to climb over the Knights for a thrilling 34-30 victory. The Storm is the only undefeated team in the competition. The Broncos are sitting at the bottom of the ladder. Tonight, the South's Canterbury match will complete round four. In the AFL, Geelong pulled off a thrilling victory to beat Hawthorne at the MCG this afternoon. The Hawks led at every turn, but a final quarter fight back saw the Cats steal a nine-point win. Now, after their disappointment at the Australian Formula One Grand Prix, the Red Bull team of Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber has dominated the Malaysian race, finishing first and second, respectively. Webber had pole, but was beaten to the opening corner by Vettel. And they were under strict instructions from the boss to respect each other on the circuit. We uh, obviously uh, had a chat to Christian Horner at the start of the race and Christian said, boys, behave yourselves, uh, we, uh, and we did. <laughs> Mechanical problems cost Michael Schumacher any chance, but he did get a lift back to the pits. 
In the Rich Stall Gift Sprint Race, Tom Burbage's car ran out of fuel and he almost missed the event, but his motor was running when it really counted. Burbage in front and the body holds together all the way to glory. Burbage picked up $40,000 for around 12 seconds of work. The English soccer team, Roxman, may not be well known, but they may go down in history right now. Take a look at the clock, because it took the side only 10.6 seconds to score, making it one of the fastest goals ever. Ouch, that really hurts. Yeah. And uh, happy birthday. I look forward to reaching that figure. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cake today. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Janie's next with the weather and some welcome rain for the catchments coming up. Yes, birthday boy, but not so favourable for school holidays. Details shortly. We'll see some warmer nights just for the next few days anyway. Good on you, Janie. Thank you. And that is Nine News for this Easter Monday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. Good night.